wow, amazing. We had amazing footages. I can't believe. I love this concept of traveling and overland and photography because it takes me a little bit away from the work zone to be able to be creative, to come back and continue. So it's like an energy that you need to, to give to yourself. I remember it's not there. What fascinates me is shadows and lights. This is where I really enjoy uh, shooting at low light. I love keep tracking the shadows uh, in my composition. I love side light, I love backlight. I really enjoy that. For me, a great shot is not to have a beautiful sky. A great shot is well composed, depth of field, uh, a balanced exposure, a scale in your composition. This is the most important part in the great shot. I do some scouting in advance and I search for the light and I keep checking all the possibilities of making this image successful. Half light, half shadows is epic in this place. So now the light will start shifting, moving on that view. So this is perfect composition, especially the small ones with the big. When the light start moving on the dune to that part, lighting half of the dune, and then this is well balanced. I love this composition. Oh, light getting there. It's like a family. You have the big dad and then you have the mom the kids and I love this the Sun will rise behind the dune and then all the backlight will be on the contrast on the back of the trees so this is the most beautiful light we're gonna achieve at the moment so the Sun is gonna rise exactly behind the trees for me I'm satisfied with one hero shot in this place for today When I started seven, eight years ago, I was into, I want those hero shots, you know, with the beautiful sky and I want, you know, those epic moments, you know, that you cannot see them again. But I found that I'm more going back into classic, abstract, uh, into minimalistic compositions, um, become more, you know, calm down in terms of photography. So I don't care if the sky is orange or you have beautiful clouds. I care about, you know, proper composition and the most important also, uh, me enjoying doing that. So if I don't see a beautiful weather, so that's not mean that I'm not gonna shoot. But in fact, I enjoy more shooting because I like being outside in nature. Sometimes I go to shoot and I'm not inspired at all for many reasons. The last six, seven years, I always miss some moments during sunrise or sunset. You're expecting that light, you're expecting this composition, you're expecting the wind coming from here, you're expecting some fog. Sometimes we fail for certain reasons. It happens if I go and I shoot and I'm, I'm not getting what I want. I'm always satisfied. For me, as the fun of trying is not only taking the picture. Yours will curve, uh, and this one? There's not fixed settings, all depend on the composition and the, the style of photography. So even with telephoto, sometimes I shoot at 2.8 if I want to isolate the subject. Sometimes I can shoot a landscape at 1.8 using 35mm to create beautiful depth, but I can show some details somehow. So this is all depend on what you want to achieve as a photographer. Now, during this visit, I decided to hire a helicopter to be able to do some aerial images to get those abstract things from Namibia during golden hour and blue hour. It's a huge country, you need two or three months to be able to understand how massive is this country. 
the landscape is very diverse here, it keeps changing from area to area. You have to adjust yourself as a photographer with the situation. There is nothing called by the book. You have to break the, the rules sometimes in photography. I was satisfied in 15 days to get five hero shots. I want to enjoy more the moment of doing photography. You have to shoot for yourself. You don't shoot for others. You simply enjoy. You simply love nature, respect nature, uh, protect the nature. This is the most important, not the image. For me, the image is just an image. There can be someone else taking the same image with better light, but to be a landscape photographer is to be someone close to nature and who really enjoy being outdoor. And this is for me the most important. We had amazing footages. I can't believe. And really nice, the one on the on the beach, the sand. Yeah. We can do another one oh. if we stay here. the Namibia area like that, you don't find this kind of uh, artistic shots. This one, yeah, this is, this is black and white. Mm. Imagine you took the 400 ml with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could, could fall.